Hello everyone and welcome back. <laughs> Today's video I'm just going to be doing a soup that is our favorite. I'm sure you've seen me make it a few times, just maybe not in as much detail. Um, so I'm going to be making a bondigas today. We have another sick kiddo in the house. The last few months have been full of sickness, <laughs> apparently. Um, so I wanted to, you know, make his favorite soup for him. Right here I'm just finishing rolling the meatballs. Um, I just do cut up onion, salt, pepper, garlic powder, the ground beef, and some rice. And I roll it up into bowls and I put it in there. And here we got another order of those, it's like up to 70 pounds of vegetables. They do it on my side of town, um, you know, here and there. So I got some, split it with my mom, my mother-in-law, our aunts. <laughs> so we all just kind of split it up this time, but... They gave me a big box of the tomatoes, and so many tomatoes came with it. So I thought this would be a good time to, um, you know, cut some up and use it along with my tomato sauce just to give it that more home flavor. It's the first time I'm trying this. I've seen it done, so I'm just kind of uh, going on a whim here and trying it. I only have this little hand blender, so um, I'm just cutting out, like, the little cores, and I have this leftover onion from when I was dicing up the onion and put in those meatballs. And I'm just putting this in there. <laughs> and I'm putting in, you know, my seasonings in here. Right here I started with my garlic, and you can't see it. But I definitely put a little more than intended. Thankfully, it ended up, you know, not being noticeable in the soup because I actually got a little bit worried. Um, I do adjust the camera in a second. Here we go. Um, just so you can see part of, uh, I guess, really what I'm doing. I didn't bother taking off the, like, the skins and stuff. Oh, here I'm just adding a little bit of water. But um, I didn't bother taking off the skins because I'm going to run this all through like a, a mesh, a strainer thing. So I thought that, you know, that would take care of all the pulp and, you know, all that good stuff. So here I'm just trying to push it a little bit down because it wasn't blending too good. And mind you, this is not the best blender. This is like a little smoothie handheld thing. <laughs> so I definitely need to uh, invest in a blender. <laughs> um but so I'm just cutting up, I think I used about five tomatoes. I could have probably done more, but I honestly didn't know how it was going to taste. So um, I just wanted to make sure it was going to be good before I went and ordered or went and did a bunch of tomatoes inside of here. So I just blend this up really good. Try to get as much of the uh, tomatoes that I had next to me in there. <laughs> and then try to get it blend up so that there's not a bunch of chunks, chunks in there. I didn't want it to be like a going to waste or anything when I try to put it through the the strainer. So I'm just trying to get this all done. Hope everybody out there is doing good. Um, and you know, let me know if you try this recipe. I know I'm kind of vague on some of my recipes. I'm trying to get better at that. <laughs> but I wanted to show, show this one and I'm trying to make a uh, slow comeback. I do have my video planned for this week of just kind of sitting down and doing a little bit of life update. I'm going to there's a few things to share and just a little bit of things that um, I've done around the house that I wanted to share. Um, you know, just a little here and there kind of thing. <laughs> but it seems like, gosh, in January, me and my husband both got sick with uh, COVID again. And then my son and daughter got sick shortly after us with the cold, thankfully not COVID. Um, and now my son is on like his third cold. And now I'm not sure if I'm getting it. So it's just been like a back and forth kind of thing. <laughs> Um, so I'm hoping that all this sickness season that we're in will go away here pretty soon. Um, and here is, I was looking around when I was holding this and I realized that I forgot to grab like a spoon or, you know, spatula. So I'm just putting this on top of the blender thing so that I can go and grab one. Because <laughs> I, I need something, you know, to kind of push it through and get all that liquid out of there. <laughs> and mind you, I was doing this not sure how it was going to come out or taste or what <laughs> so we just try to get this all through there um but i'm so glad that it worked out and it came out good with a lot of those tomatoes i wish that i was already in a season where i'm gonna be canning because it right now before months ago i was kind of like iffy about it now i'm at the season where i want to do it but because of life updates that i'm going to be giving in the next video i will not be doing that stuff right now so it would be awesome, especially with all these tomatoes that I have. Um, so what I'm gonna do is my kids want me to make some more of those uh, like Italian pizza style chips that I made in our dehydrator last time. 
and I'm gonna be, I think, making a bunch of them, dehydrating them, and blending them into tomato powder because I don't. I want to make sure they're not going to waste. Um, we eat them, and then our guinea pig eats some, but I just want to make sure that there's no waste. And I think tomato powder would be a really good thing to have because normally, in my blending us, I do add a can of tomato sauce, which you're gonna see in a minute. I still add, and then I normally have to add in like you know, the tomato bouillon powder so this time doing these tomatoes i didn't have to add in any of that powder but it would be nice to um have some of my own homemade powder on hand so i think uh tomorrow i'm gonna start cutting up a bunch of those tomatoes and um just getting that started because <laughs> they do take gosh i think it was about eight hours or something last time to dehydrate so um uh, here i just stirred around the soup and taking all my stuff to the dishes here I end up adding the tomato sauce still in, and I do another can of water. And when I do my bonegas, I just let the meatballs in the tomato sauce, like brothy kind of water, and I let it boil for um, probably about 20 minutes. I like to have them really tender. The zucchini I also got from that vegetable box. There was two different kinds. So I'm just trying to get them, you know, I take the skins off and then I cut them. I don't, I was so tired this day. I think this was like day two or three of my sleepless nights because I've been up with my son. When my kids are sick, I just, it's like I can't sleep. I just want to be, you know, like up with them, taking care of them. Plus he had been like um, coughing a lot. So and sneezing. And so, you know, just a lot of sleepless nights. And then when, he, even when he was asleep, my mama heart just couldn't sleep. <laughs> so I think this was day three and I was so tired. And you can definitely tell from right here, almost cut myself. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I need to hold this differently. I was just kind of running on fumes. And this was in the morning. And I still had a full day of um, things to do with my daughter for one of her extracurriculars. I think I didn't get home till about 10 o'clock at night. So I was making the soup and trying to take care of my son. And thankfully, my husband was home to, to help. And um, it was just kind of, <laughs> it was a long few days. So this soup is definitely like a comfort thing for us and, you know, to help him get better and it's kind of an all-in-one sort of thing. I love to make homemade soups though. I've definitely realized over the last two years that homemade soups I just like a lot better. Um, we still do keep some canned soups on hand, but for the most part, I just feel like the homemade ones and, you know, the ones I grew up with my Nana making are just my favorites. So here, and it's really just kind of about the vegetables you want to use. I used two of the zucchinis. Sometimes I'll add in corn or cut up potatoes. Um, you know, it's kind of, or you can add in a little bit of pasta if you want. And so I just choose to do um, zucchini. And then I ended up adding some cut corn here in just a minute. And then, of course, I did end up adding a little bit of just the chicken bouillon. Um, Sometimes I just like to have a really flavorful broth. So I ended up adding some of that too. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, and uh, some cumin. And then when it comes down, like I like my soup. So I let it boil for about 20 minutes with the meatballs. And then I let it boil for another, I don't know, 15 minutes with the vegetables. And then on the end, I'll do the last 20 minutes and I'll add in more rice just because um, I like to have that extra rice like when they're eating it. And these are my favorite kind of tortillas. I like how they're just, I don't know, almost like halfway home cooked, <laughs> semi homemade. Um, so that's what I'm doing. And then here is just how I serve it up. But thank you so much all for being here. I'm gonna try to have that, you know, just chat video up on Friday. Enjoy.